All right. Well, we got a list. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, my list is eight etiquette rules that are kind of slipping away. Okay. And I kind of yeah. wanted to find out where you guys were yep. on them. I, said, I like some of them. This first one is opening the door or car doors for women yes. or your wives or yes. lady friends. Yes. I don't mind it. I don't you know don't if some mind. women get offended if it's like it's supposed to be you know, women can do it themselves. Yeah, right. I'm all about anyone doing anything for me. Right. I gotta be honest. Very few women feel that way. Right. Yeah. In I my experience. Yeah. Very few want someone to open the don't door. Don't want somebody. I they agree. make the most noise so that everybody thinks women don't right. want You're it. Afraid. It's just a yeah. nice you thought. It's courtesy. Women like a I had a guy. lady yeah. yell at me at Water Tower Place no. when I opened the door oh. for her. She goes, I'm more than capable oh of opening my own gosh. door. I don't need you open it for me. I'm like, oh, what'd you do? Did you moon her after that? Yeah. Well, I kind of like it. That's I like, what I it like too. Yes, also. I agree. Okay, here's the next one. This one's a stickler. Uh -huh. uh, remembering to RSVP. It's a big one for you. Yes. 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 Uh, yep. I'm not great at this. My wife always is. Yeah. She's great very at good at that stuff. At it. It's a hard one when you're trying to organize. Do I have 20 right. people or 200 people? Yes. Right. So that's one, another one there. It's because the people who don't RSVP are the people who never have any parties or never do anything, so they don't, so they don't know understand. what kind of complications they're creating. Yes. Yeah. Right. Boy, that's coming from a hard place. Yeah. Yeah. What do you right. do to somebody who RSVPs yes and then bails? Ah. Uh, that's I'm not good. Really you paid for them to be there. Yeah. 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 That stuff happens. Okay. I'm one who kind of can. That's me. next list. That's next list. That's right. That's perfect. <laughs> next Friday. All right. Dude, now, this one, Larry and Patrick, I got to give you both credit. The old thank you note. Yes. Uh, this is an old school kind of thing yes. where you don't just text and say, hey, thanks. Like, Pat, yeah. you, when, that was like the one thing that stuck out in my mind when in, after his interview, like a few days later, we all got handwritten thank you notes. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's impressive. And Larry, I know you're great at that also. I might have, full disclosure, may have been the last thank you note I sent in my life. But thankfully, <laughs> I, I, I sent those three yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was good enough Very for you. Very true. And yeah. it's not a thank you email or a text. Yes. Right. It's you write the card out. Yeah. It right. makes a big difference when yeah. you get that in the mail. Yeah. Like, that yeah. took some time. Yeah. I wonder if, like, people under 30 are watching us right now going, what a bunch of old. <laughs> Probably cranks up there. But yeah, this is where you know this is how we got to be where we are. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Your party, you pay, right? So yes. if you're inviting people out uh, and you say, hey, it's a party for me, don't go looking for everyone to foot the bill for you. Yes. If you're yes. the enough, you can, if you're up front and say, hey, we're going to all meet, everyone's on their own, but let's yeah. get together, that's one thing. But if it's your birthday party and you're meeting at, you know, you're yeah. expect, you just pay, right? right? Don't be in these weddings that are coming. And I suggest with these birthday parties too, we have to set an age limit to this. Yes. You can't be 37 years old and trying to plan a tour de force of birthday parties with four right. different locations. Nobody wants to be at yeah. your 37th no. birthday no. party. No, right. Let me and go ahead. If you can't afford a big party, have the size party you can afford. Yeah. And right. if that means yes. you can only afford 10 people, you pay for 10 people's right. dinner. You yeah. don't have people chip, you just, you scale it down. It yeah. doesn't yeah. have yeah, to be no grand. more than 10 people want to be at your birthday party. I can't anyway. even think yeah. of 10 people I'd want yeah. to have at a birthday party. Mm -hmm. Let me throw this myself. little turd in here also. Right. If you've got like an eight year old kid, yeah. and you're having a birthday party for that kid, let his friends bring gifts. Don't say, oh, make a donation to save the planet, uh, yeah. whatever yeah. it is. Okay. That kid, let him have a gift, right? Kids like a birthday right. present. Kids they, have if you can, candy on yes. Halloween, all yeah. that crap. If you yeah. can't have a birthday present when you're a kid, right. does on kids. Right. All right. Plus, the planet is fine. <laughs> it's right. it's, it's fine. Stuff. The gifts is not going to make a difference. <laughs> all right. Here, this one's really hard. No one should start eating at the dinner table yeah, until everybody's plates I are agree. there. I, I disagree. agree. That place yes. sucks, but it yes. should be. Yes. Yeah. I disagree. No, I've been in this, I was in this situation last week where I was the last one to get my food. I said, don't you, don't let your food yeah. get cold. Don't let me stop you. You should eat your food when it's hot. Well, you're yeah. granting that, right? Yeah. I think that is on the person who is ah. stuck. But I remember this. I was a general how much I'm paying for that dinner. Yeah, I understand. You should at least ask the person, you know, there should be a discussion, but you yeah. shouldn't just dive right in yeah. for right. sure. I agree. Now, this one is really old school, and it's removing your hat 
when you go inside a house or some, you know. A, yes. To me, I'm kind of like, I don't know. Were you born this. in 1925? You know, one, but it is ironic, right? Like, I'm not all in on this one. I am, uh, when you go to church, I kind of feel like, take your hat off there. Right. But uh, National Anthem Church, take your hat off. Eh, a couple times, right? Otherwise, eh, it doesn't yeah. land on me that significantly. Okay. Are you yeah. anywhere on this? I mean, I, I'm not wearing a hat ever. Yeah. The men aren't, I mean, not many men are wa walking around mm. with fedoras, but are yeah. you talking baseball yeah, That's a shame. I don't baseball hats. Yeah. Yeah. Bring back the fedora. more fedoras. It is, yeah. But you see with base, men wearing baseball hats at a restaurant with their wife or girlfriend. Yeah. I don't understand that for the life of me. Well, well, what kind of restaurant are we backwards. talking about? We're yeah. talking about Gibson's restaurant. Yeah. Listen, unless you're 12 years old, you shouldn't be wearing a baseball hat at a restaurant, okay? <laughs> like if you're at a bar or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. But like when you're on a date having dinner on a Friday night, yeah, well, why are you wearing yeah, a baseball no, hat? You know, yeah. yeah. So we're. If you're at the bar at Chili's, right. I think it's okay. Okay. Thanks, Larry. I had to help me out a little bit. Sorry. You got me in. You got me in. Now, this one I actually love, and I've been working on this with my sons. You stand up when a woman oh, yeah. enters into the room or she, when she gets yeah. up to leave from the table. Like, I've got it. Like, it is so in my yeah. DNA. Like, when Do you cap it, room, though? If it, it, say a woman's had a lot to drink, boy, <laughs> she's getting up to the bathroom five times. <laughs> right. You get up every time. Uh, then I get starts, up once. Then she starts feeling guilty. Yeah. And she's like, oh, if i got to get up again, the yeah. whole table's right. going to stand up. Yeah. Right. But I like it. I don't know if that's... You know what? I like it, but it's such an old-fashioned one that most people don't even know no, about it. Let no, alone no, do it. So you don't want to be the only guy yeah. getting yeah. up. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. I get up once, you though. Once, yeah. is the, yeah. once is enough, once is enough just to wow. establish a precedent. It's a helpful time just yeah. get a stretch in also. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, here's another one. When you go to somebody's house, you bring something oh, along yeah. with yeah, you, like yeah. a bottle of wine or yeah. some flowers or something like that. That's kind of falling apart yeah, also. Just yeah, just it can be very simple. Yeah, so there it is. Well, That's Paul, that was really great, Paul. Good that was really pretty stuff, good. Right? Yeah, I like old school stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I got a list for Friday. If you can give me any ideas, uh, I'd really appreciate stuff it. Stuff not to bring <laughs> to a party. <laughs> 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 Start there and see where it goes. Raw onions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Adam.